Hi, I'm Emmanuel. Hello, my name is Jennifer Cleland. Hi everyone, I'm Yusuf. Hello there. Oh, my name's Dr. Lucy Rosby. This is Sridi Vasalu Reddy Mogali. Hi, my name is Tanya Tierney. Hi, I'm Wendy. Hi, I'm Dr. Tom. Hello, I am Ramani Saramanan. 2020 has been a very exciting year for us. We've had to change the way we teach in order to go get around the restrictions uh, brought about by COVID-19. Due to COVID-19 disruption, we had to shift anatomy teaching to uh, online home-based learning. Welcome to my work from home office. This is where I facilitate online learning. This is my home office, which is not very exciting at the moment. The COVID-19 situation has me talking to you uh, via my phone in my kids' study. I'm your assistant, Dean Viers 1 and 2, and here's my little fairy friend here who helps me when I'm working from home. So this is my workspace whilst we're on Circuit Breaker. Um, one of my children's actually donated his bedroom, as you can see here. This is Sammy. Say hello, Sammy. I'm getting you ready to go to work during this Circuit Breaker because I work in one of the essential services. And today, being 1st May, even though it's a public holiday, I'm going to work because the emergency department is open 24-7. Each job has its own skill set. We learn, we enhance, and of course, safe practices is the utmost priority. So in the first two years of your course, you'll be seeing quite a lot of me in my capacity as Assistant Dean. And in that role, I look after the running of the program for the first two years, working closely with our research and clinical content experts to deliver you the curriculum in the best way that we can. I, for one, uh, teach metabolism in the Foundations of Medicine uh, block, and I also do teach uh, the function of the pancreas as well as type 2 diabetes in the endocrine block. So you'll see quite a bit of me uh, in your first year. Some of you may have this question, will we still have TBL in this current situation? Well. The answer is yes. You will learn using this innovative pedagogy when you join us. In fact, we make a seamless transition from face-to-face -face TBL to remote TBL. Lessons continue as planned. We are committed to ensure that TBL runs smoothly. During an e-TBL session, everyone will come together online in this virtual online learning environment to take a quiz together, to discuss with your teams in your own breakout rooms and engage in class-wide discussions with your classmates and content experts. Online anatomy teaching is quite different from uh, regular on-campus teaching where students have access to a range of uh, uh, anatomy tools uh, like uh, plastinated human cadaveric specimens, virtual dissector called anatomage, plastic models and uh, 3D printed models and so on. And using these tools, um, students explore different body parts and identify uh, various structures and how they are related to each other. This is further supplemented by face-to-face -face, uh, demonstrations by uh, expert faculty in anatomy, surgery, as well as in uh, radiology. Thanks to technology that uh, we could able to deliver and support student learning of anatomy using uh, live streaming of lectures, uh, in-house developed practical demonstrations with plastic specimens and as well as uh, practical handouts and uh, existing uh, uh, 3D anatomy platforms. For Family Medicine Student Assistantship Program, we've had to do part of that teaching at Clinical Sciences Building itself instead of at the polyclinics. And what we did was we carried out simulated consults and this effort was very much a teamwork. We had our administrative staff at Clinical Sciences Building, students at Clinical Sciences Building, but family physicians zooming in. Thinking about the way we teach communication skills, you will be interacting with simulated patients. So these are people who we employ to role play with you so that you get to practice communicating with patients in different contexts. So when we're teaching on campus, we have a lovely communication suite set up where you can interact with your simulated patients and get feedback and the whole thing is videoed for your learning. But of course at the moment we're not able to do that. So what we've done is we've actually moved the sessions into Zoom. Because of the COVID-19 situation, our department has changed very much in the way we organise our workflow. I'm walking towards the registration and the triage area. 
and you can see behind me that where the ambulance bay has a, is a receiving patient. A lot of our colleagues are now in full PPE in order for us to remain safe during the current situation. In LKC Medicine, our medical students undergo rigorous training on personal protective equipment, providing them with adequate knowledge and ensuring that our students acquire the correct practical skills in infection control practices was mandatory. Here at LKC, our teaching has also adapted uh, to ensure that you, that you get the right content and that you are, are thought well. I'm missing campus, my personal interactions with students and colleagues. I hope things will improve soon and uh, I hope to see them face to face on campus. I'm very much looking forward to meeting the next cohort of LKC students. Very much looking forward to seeing more of the current cohorts. Of course, everything at the moment is remote or by Zoom. Uh, we do look forward to welcoming you to LKC Medicine in this year. Hearties, congratulations on making it to the medical school. And uh, stay safe, everyone.